Hey you guys, welcome to one more Rui Raptor video. As you guys already know, the main board from both Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pro, it's an 8-bit board from Creality and it's equipped with non-replaceable Eleco drivers. Although this board works fairly well, it produces salmon skin on a prince and it also makes the motors run a bit noisy because of the Allegro drivers. There are some plug and play solutions on the market at the moment as upgrade for these boards and in this video we will show you one of these solutions, the Creality Silent 1.1.5 board. This board is very similar with the stock one, same quantity of connections, it's also an 8-bit board with non-replaceable drivers, but it's equipped with TMC's 2208 instead. These drivers have better performance, as we will show you in a few minutes. This board is currently being sold more or less at around 40 US dollars. You can check the link for it below in the video description. Start by removing the panels. On the standard Ender 3, you can access the electronics from the top side, and for the Ender 3 Pro, you can reach it from the bottom side. Label all the cables that don't have any tags on them, and then disconnect all of them. Remove the four screws and take the board out. Place the new board and connect all the cables on the exact same positions. One thing we notice is that this board shares the same PWM signal for both layer cooling fan and board fan. So it doesn't really matter where you connect the layer cooling fan and the board fan on this board. And this is a bit strange because the board fan should be running all the time to cool down the drivers. Once you completed all the connections, close the panels and turn on the printer. Check the display and see if you get the correct temperature readings. If everything is ok, you can start your first print. To test this board, we made a couple of stress tests. The first one is to test the salmon skin. However, it failed after a few minutes in. The extruder just stopped pushing the filament. We noticed the extruder motor was disengaged while still printing. We stopped the print and entered the move access menu and for our surprise the extruder motor turned normally. This means that the extruder driver stalled while printing. This is actually a problem that affects several users when trying to print parts either with a lot of retraction movements or simply by using Simplify 3D. The guys using Cura normally don't notice this issue, probably because of the retraction algorithm used by that slicer. So if you get this problem too, you can fix by flashing a new firmware version, making sure you select TMC's 2208 in standalone mode and disable the linear advance feature. This board includes the bootloader, so it's easier to install the firmware. Once we flashed the new firmware, the printer was able to finish the print. And this is the result. Our salmon test print reveals a lot of salmon skin patterns with the stock board, while with the new board you cannot see any pattern.
We also ran a vase print to test the smoothness of the layers. Here we can see that the print result is smooth. And as we said in the beginning, this upgrade not only improves the print quality, but also reduces the noise coming from the motors. Before the upgrade, we could hear the fans running and the motors moving. After the upgrade, we can only hear the fans running. We also checked the temperature of the motors while printing with the new board. For the Y-axis and extruder motors, we have average temperatures of around 40 degrees C, which is perfectly acceptable. If you have motor dampers installed, we recommend to remove them if you install this new board. Also, check your hot end and heat bed temperature while printing. If you notice some variation, just run a PID calibration to fix it. And that's it you guys, don't miss the next upgrade videos where we will test and show more plug and play solutions for the Ender 3. If you are not a subscriber yet, click on subscribe and activate the bell so that you can be warned every time we publish a new video. If you like our work and wish to help the channel, you can with Patreon or Paypal. Check the description below on how to help. As always, keep following us here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. We will see you guys next time. Bye!